What's up guys? Today I want to take a closer look at the RX100 Mark V. This is a tiny little camera with a great lens that can fit in your pocket. So it's got a really nice Zeiss lens that goes from 1.8 to 2.8. So you can get a shallow depth of field. It's got some image stabilization. You can get some really cinematic video and you can grade it and everything like that. So it is definitely a powerhouse for video and photos. But for me personally, I'm actually going to be selling this because I found that it's very clinically good. It's a good clinical camera, but the user experience is not quite up to par with like some of those small APS-C Fuji cameras. So I'm going to be trying out some of the smaller Fuji cameras. I feel like they have just a little more character and the, the, the JPEGs and the images are better straight out of the camera. You can use those film simulations in video and photos and not have to do as much editing. With this, if I did a lot of editing, I could get some really good stuff. Now, if the 240 frames a second worked for more than a few seconds, I would keep this camera. Because I could film skateboarding and film myself. But since those are just like short bursts, the really high frame rate stuff, I'm going to end up selling this. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Well, I was gonna end the video, but I also wanna talk about this grip. So there's not a lot to grip onto. When I'm doing street photos, I kinda just end up holding it like a phone and taking photos, using using one hand to do other things and just using one hand to kinda hold this and and do street photos like that. I don't really use the front of it as a grip. I, I, I A lot of times I hold it like a, a cell phone. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a filmmaker, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.